Hammers up everyone, Towley here, Conclave of the Chosen. Pretty awesome fight. This is the Mythic Encounter version of it. Uh, one big change, one's not these Wrath. He applies a debuff on a certain player. That player is immune to healing. You can dispel that person. It'll jump from that person who just got dispelled to another person. So you kind of got to be careful who you give it to or who you pass it on to. You don't want to pass it on to a tank while you're in the middle of tanking, let's say, Akunda. So we our order here is uh, Gonk, Kimball, Paku, and then Akunda. Myself, uh, I went with um, uh, Holy Shield for this encounter, plus Spell Warding, uh, Bubble Taunt, and you'll see why later. A couple things, little heroic mechanics, Hex, Get Out, Wild Maw for the tank, as myself, just keep up your active mitigation, just an SOTR uh, is all you really need, Shield of the Righteous. Honestly, I could survive without it. I didn't want to go Seraphim spec here on this encounter with Blessed Hammer because the damage does get pretty insane. And usually on first kills, I like to play it safe. So we have all the little Raptors coming out. Uh, those have to be focused down immediately. You also don't want to be stunning those Raptors near where the tanks are tanking because if I happen to uh, be tanking Gonk right there and let's say a Stalker gets stunned right in front of the you know Aspect then the frontal cone can just kind of kill somebody. So you don't want that to happen. So Gonga is our first burn victim. We're going to be burning the shit out of him right now. We're going to get Paku's Wrath right here, which is basically this big bird spawns in the middle. Then he flies all over the room. Uh, and right here, we're basically doing a reset. Um, I'm taking Paku, which has a nice little buff on him, which mages and can spell steal to give them uh, extra haste. So I'm taking Paku outside where they're attacking Kimball. And while I'm out here, I'm popping spell warding. Why? Because this damage that's going out is uh, magical damage. So I can just bait the frogs out here. Got hit like a noob. But still, that's my job. I figure being a prop paladin, you know, just being immune to all damage while you're out there, except for melee attacks, is no big deal. So Kimball is now out with Paku. We're uh, burning down Kimball. He is our current targeted aspect. And as you can see, our brewmaster. Our brewmaster can literally, as in my previous video, solo tank shit. He could tank Paku. If there was no uh, part of this fight where keeping the aspects together would make them immune to damage, then I'm pretty sure our Brewmaster could solo tank this entire encounter. It's pretty sad. But I'm a prop paladin, so I have uses, goddammit. I'm a people person. I deal with the people. Anyway, <laughs> so um, Aku's aspect is coming out again. Now for this one, I don't believe I go out. I think I take him in, obviously. You never want to take your kill target and leave him outside the circle. But with Kimball, um, there is an aspect where these tigers come out and they put markers over your head and he leaps at those targets and does massive damage. So those people have to go to the back of the circle. I'm trying my best to tank kind of like Kimball as close to the edge as possible because he does do a lacerating. Um, it's called a lot. I don't know. It's lacerating something. It basically puts a bleed dot on me. So there you go. I'm taking Paku out and he's out there. L luckily, I put him out there with minimal damage. I just wanted to get him out. Um, Akunda is coming up now. Akunda is being taken by the Brewmaster. Eventually, we're going to switch here. But for now, yep, we're doing a little switch. Kind of a little sloppy switch there. Probably my fault on that. So right now, Paku is our main target. Akunda is wrecking my ass. Uh, she hits really hard. And if you don't have, like, Shield of the Righteous stacks up, it is not good. So you got to dodge the Leaping Frog, kill the Raptors, um, get out of this Thundering Storm. There's going to be a debuff that goes out. Everyone has to run it out. You see it right there. A uh, little blue under the feet. That's going to kind of expel like these little swirling. I don't know what they are, but if you hit them, you get stunned. I think I do get stunned here by one of them. And I'm just trying my best just to survive until Paku is dead so that my Brewmaster tank can take Akunda off my ass. Because I'm, I'm basically trying to call for cooldowns. I called for a sack right there. So here's what I do here. So now we leave Akunda out so he doesn't do the uh, Thundering Storm. And I bubble taunt. So I pop my bubble god, as I call it, and I leave him out there. So I can, being out there, under a storm hurts nobody, and the leaping frog goes out. Nice little bait right there. So now we switch. Now I'm saying the brewmaster, hey, man, I'm getting wrecked. You take Akunda. I'm just going to take Paku here. So I'm going to finish tanking off Paku. Now, once again, Paku does that, um, that stack on himself uh, with the winds. I believe it gives you more melee, uh, no, excuse, more, uh, faster attack speed and haste. And I do know that it can be spell stolen. Uh, by any mages in the raid. And I believe that gives haste to everybody else around him. I think that's how it works. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Sometimes I just forget the non-tank shit. So here we go. Paku's aspect comes down. At the same time, one zombie's wrath is going out on players. So you'll see that on my raid frames. So now Akunda's aspect is being tanked. Uh, Going to be tanked inside there. I'm going to taunt him. 
and uh yeah that's happening uh i, I believe i'm not sure what happened here i say i spell warded to keep him out and i believe i was not called to tank the boss in there i think they just wanted to survive the wrath and have to deal with any of Akunda stuff inside. I'm thinking to myself, I'm not sure if that was like a me decision just to say fuck it because I didn't think we were going to survive in there or if it was called for me to take it out there. I believe we probably communicated beforehand. I'm very forgetful. So um, so while, you know, the Brewmaster is tanking Akunda, I'm trying to DPS as many of these stalkers as possible. Um, the debuff for Akunda's Wrath is going out, fading in three, two, one. There it goes. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm pretty sure I get hit by one. I always get hit by something in this raid. Thundering Storm, everybody out. There we go. Uh, and now I don't have Bubble God up, and I don't have Spell Warding, so there's definitely no way I'm going to be able to tank uh, Akunda on the outside. I mean, I probably could have survived, or the Brewmaster could have survived. Uh, oh, no, I did take him out. Okay, so we did take him out again. Um, and I'm just here, just hoping not to die. Got some cooldowns there from my uh, lovely healers. And, and this is a pretty intense fight at the end. It gets kind of crazy because you have every aspect's abilities going out. And, um, you know, for a first kill, it was a little shaky. I expect uh, this week's coming kill to be a lot more smoother. But I always love the first kills because it's so exciting. It's, you know, any, anyone ever been part of, like, a first mythic kill with your guild? And at, toward the end, you're, like, at 3%, 2%. You don't even know what buttons you're hitting. You're just smashing probably the same button all over again. Like, I'm smashing Q, 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 E, 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 E. Because you're just so excited because you know you're going to get this kill. And at this point, we do believe we're going to get this kill. We're, we're like, yeah, we're, we're going to get this. We should be getting this. Now, I have Arnett Defender coming up off cooldown. The Brewmaster right now is red staggered. Not that it matters. I don't think he goes down. He might go down here. Um, I just taunt so he doesn't die. And I just, yeah, I just put him in the storm in case I'm the last one tanking it and I'm protected. Um, because I did have a, a cooldown coming off. But that was our kill for uh, Conclave. What, what loot drop? Let's see. Did I get anything here? Nope. What zombies uh, crap. But it helps me make my rings and my trinkets. I like it. Hey, cloaks. Cloaks for days, boys. 415 cloth uh, boots. Come on, Tally. Keep checking. Keep checking. What's the other one say? What's the other one say? Another cloth. Um, a puka got the thundering scale of Akunda. Some more cloth boots. 420 with a socket. Almost unicorn that one. And uh, our mage Trexian got the uh, mantle uh, for some nice little Azerite armor. But thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions on, you know, the fight itself. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. A lot. Of, I mean, this fight took us about 16 attempts. No, 15 or 16 attempts to complete. I think I, eventually I check. This is where we take our guild picture. Like, you know, we yes, in World of Warcraft, people still take guild pictures, believe it or not. But uh hope you liked the video. Um, any comments, any suggestions, hey, any criticism of my tanking would, would be just fine. Uh, one thing that I noticed that I did not do much of here um, is I definitely didn't take advantage of, you know, resetting taunts on Paku with melee. Melee can actually taunt for you really quick and you taunt back to reset Paku stacks. I think that's how we might do it in the future. Um, just so the Brewmaster can stay on Paku the entire time and I just tank all the kill targets. But uh, yeah, great kill on Conclave. 15 attempts. Uh, next video will be on King Rastakan, uh, which was a 16 attempt boss for us. Not too bad. Pretty easy. And once again, a lot more little tricks that Paladins can do in that fight to survive and make your healers' lives a lot easier. So don't forget for this fight, Bubble God spell warding are amazing in the way that we used it. If you want to use it too, let me know. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. See you on the next video and on the stream.